Hi YouTube. So I've been working on this um, preliminary drawing for uh, a self-portrait for days now. And I guess I'm about ready with it. So now it's finally ready for to be transferred onto a canvas. And I'm sorry it's drawing, it just took me uh, days to do it. I've been working the past few days like four or five hours a day and uh, just determined to get it right and um, actually I would like just keep erasing it and starting over. In fact after a couple days I erased the whole entire thing off and so when I erase it there's like still an after image or some a slight faint image still left on there for me to um, kind of correct the, the drawing over top of that. And that's what I did, I just kept going at it, determined to get it right. Now, um, some of the tips Gregory Mortensen um, gives for doing the drawing is it started, uh, you start the drawing with the, establish the top of the head and the bottom of the head. And then you have uh, those measurements is uh, you know those measurements and and everything can work from there and you keep you stick to that and uh, you could divide that up and find where the halfway point is which was in this one it was somewhere around the top of the eyes sort of I then marked it on the side here it's the top of the head the bottom of the head and then the middle of those two points and um, then you begin by just straight line, very straight lines and encompassing the thing and uh, slowly move into it. Um, and um, and um, the most interesting thing uh, of Gregory Mortensen uh, to me is he, he would find like you want to uh, switch back thinking of it in 2D, just the 2D image that it is and and how it looks in three, how it, a 3D image. And um, in terms of 2D, you start, you start seeing like animal shapes, like you would see whales, or fish and stuff, such as like in the whites of the eyes are like, could be like a, a shark fin or a sail. And uh, I tried to see animals in it, like maybe like this sort of an elephant up here, kind of crouching down a bit. This is his trunk of a, an elephant or something. That was just a pretty interesting uh, way to, to think of it. Like, so you want to think of 2D just like what the shapes are, a uh, two-dimensional drawing. It makes uh, the illusion of, of, it gives it the illusion of a three-dimensional drawing. If that made any sense, just in a nutshell, that was some of uh, Gregory Mortensen's tips and, and how I did it with the erasing and erasing it. Just keep going. So also in terms of um, this being a preliminary drawing for painting, it, the shading on this for this isn't as important, it's more getting the shapes. But since it's on a toned paper, I could um could put highlights on it. Maybe not so smart to do it while I'm filming it with one hand. But I'll uh, just simply stated some highlights without even hardly showing up in this. It's a highlight in the nose and maybe up here. On here. Mm. I want it to call.
So here I have the original drawing I did and just um, this cheap uh, paper, the cheap computer copy paper. That's what I use and it's in a pastel blue color though. And um, to make the transfer, what I did is you make a, I make a, I made a um, photocopy, you know, Xerox copy, whatever you want to call it. And, um, and then I'm going to, you put uh, on the back, spread um, the, the raw, raw sienna I used with a palette knife you just spread that on uh, straight out of the tube you don't use any medium you could put it up to a mirror uh, no not a mirror uh, up to the window so that you could see through uh, like as in a, uh, a light box same like using a light box if you don't have a light box you can just put it up to a window just and um, that we're just spreading the the paint over where where you need it and you can save a little bit of paint and not, you don't have to put the paint over the whole thing that made sense and um, so then that then um, you're ready to go well it's uh, when you spread it on here just straight out of the tube it's really um, it just absorbs into the paper and it's totally dry to the touch it won't really come off if you touch it but it's still uh, still wet enough that when you go put it place it on your canvas and use a ballpoint pen to to get the uh, transfer to go through. My other videos I had used like a pencil, and that's kind of bad advice compared to using a ballpoint pen for for doing transfers. Make sure you use use a ballpoint pen for if you're going to do this type of transfer. It's far superior. Uh, just you press firmly with the ballpoint pen, and it'll, it goes through very well. So, um, so I hope all that made sense. And this is how it came out on the uh, board. See that? So that's the the transfer onto this uh, canvas, which is actually a masonite board. And um, I actually prepared this masonite just with house paint, because that's something, someone else, I took a, a sort of online workshop with, uh, his name Ken, um, what's this? Oh, Ken Oster. I took a, uh, online courses with Ken Oster and um, that's what he did he um, says he used uh, house paint on his panels uh, to, to um, coat them and coat like both the back and the front so then it's sealed in and it worked for him so I mean it's perfectly good any kind of house paint maybe probably exterior paint is the best this was just um, was rather flat interior paint um, that is slightly beige color but it's just this old can of paint I have laying around around and uh, that's how I coated that's how I prepared the uh, panel so the next step here following along with um, Gregory Mortensen is um, now that I have this transfer on, we're gonna put an infrature on that. I don't think I want to do this on camera because I haven't figured out a good setup for the camera all in my way how I have it. But by infrature, I'm just gonna, it's almost like a wash of, I'm using some burn umber. And instead of wiping it out, you probably don't want to wipe it out because uh, if you put like a hole, covered it with burnt umber and tried to wipe it off, it might wipe off the um, that line drawing. But hmm. 
Oops. I won't do this on camera. I'll stop in a second. But I'll cut forward to the to getting it done. We're gonna just put in a wipe in, I guess, wash in. It's almost like a wash of a um, burn umber anyway. So yeah, I'm, uh, I won't try and do the temperature on camera because I can't even can't figure out a good angle for this camera's in my way, and I'll cut I'll cut forward to the to the finish temperature. All right, so this is how I my temperature looks. It's probably could have gone in tighter and keep going. It, even more tighter temperature, but I mean, kind of a loose temperature. And uh, I'm gonna do the come back with the painting at another time. Sometime in the future, I'll, I'll be painting this with opaque paint, and uh, I imagine I'll do some sort of a video of that about that. So, but that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.